Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hello. We finally made it to Vis Island. We are in Croatia on the island of Vis. Exactly, it has eluded us for a couple of years now and it is famous for pristine beaches, Mamma Mia, the sequel, and some abandoned military bases. We have five days here. We will show you what you can do in five days. Let's go. So far, the beaches, oh my God, behind every corner there's a new beach. And because this is now the end of May, there are no people. It is really, really quiet. But the locals who are, by the way, extremely friendly, the guy that was painting the boat, he said that it gets quite crowded in the main season, but now it is. Wow. We are now walking downtown to one of the two major towns on the island. One is Vis and the other one is Komija. We are in Komija because our good friends Eva and Jozek recommended Komija to us. Thank you. Thank you for that and we're going to now take a look. So far I really like it. It has a local feeling, it's quiet. So we're continuing tomorrow. And good morning. We wanted to start with the tour today, but we're going later, but it was just too nice in the morning and we had to go on a short paddleboard ride around beautiful and quiet Komija. Rosy Mono Row. Okay, after a 40 minute boat ride, we are now on the island of... Of Bishevo. Why are we here? We are here because of the famous Blue Cave. Lava Spilia. It's not on Vis, it's on Bishevo. We paid 150 kuna per person to get here and then 70 kuna for entrance. Yes, but I think you can get the boat cheaper, but we didn't really ask around, we just went with the first boat. Exactly, and in July and August the ticket is 100 kuna. And then you get assigned a number. Uh, we have 586, 87. So right we have now to wait it's 200 and something, yeah. And then you get transferred into small boats like that one, and they take you to the to the blue cave. So let's wait and go then in. That was the Blue Cave. We had to wait for two and a half hours actually to get in. And it's May. I don't know how this looks like in July or August. We'll figure out if they have more boats in the summer. Uh, and right now there are four boats, so it took us two and a half hours. To get in. So that it was closed for three days and now today they opened again. Probably also because of that. Okay. Anyway, if there is Hugo, yeah. how is Hugo? Hugo, the, the wind from the south. Then it's closed. It's closed because of you, the waves. Yeah, you cannot get in. So probably that's why today is so busy. Back to Komija. Yeah. Back in Komija. We are going paddleboarding again. 
she wanted to carry it all, all her by, by herself. But this time we're paddling towards the south to some base. Let's take a look. You are a I think that this is like the fifth or the sixth beach. No people and the water. It is beautiful, but quite far. How long have we been paddling? Simona? More than half. I think more than half an hour. But worth it. finished and now she deserves dessert downtown my cakes we'll, we'll see we'll see what we'll get we're going diving again finished our first dive. I hope that you were able to see something because... Uh, Bye. Bye, see you later. Uh, we borrowed the GoPro 8 <laughs> from a very friendly co-diver and I we used it for the first time so I hope that you, you were able to see something really really nice. I was surprised that in the Yadran, in the Adriatic Sea, that you can see so many fish and uh, we saw lobsters. Sardines. Oh, quite chilly but still okay. I just have a huge cramp. Rest a little bit and then in the afternoon we go again. Second dive. Much needed. Cappuccino. I needed a cappuccino, you needed... A pizza. And sun. Time for the second dive now. The good thing here, the dive sites are really close so you can go on the beach, relax, rest. Have a lunch. Yeah. But uh, one thing that you have to know here, if you want to go diving on these... The dives are quite deep, around 30, 40, 50, up to 60, 70 meters. Uh, so you need to be qualified for that. We have a deep diver, so we can go up to 30 meters. And on this depth, you already can see some nice stuff. So the second dive is the wreck Teti. So let's check it out. was diving uh, on Teti, good wreck. 
And now beach time on Gusarica, which is probably the biggest beach in Komija. <laughs> Walking downtown again to Komija because tonight is a very important football game. <laughs> it's the finals of the Champions League and I'm a Real Madrid supporter. Uh, we already watched a game on Thursday because this, if you don't know Dalmatia, they are so passionate about Hajduk. So everywhere you go, they're like Hajduk, Hajduk and they won. And I hope that my team wins today. I can go to bed as a happy man. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is time for my new daily routine. It's not jogging or anything extreme. It's just walking downtown to get a cappuccino. In the morning it's really quiet so nice nice to walk uh, and then we'll actually get the car going and move around the island a little bit we'll make it to go We are starting our day with the tour of the southern beaches and we're starting in in Pritishchina. Oh stop stop it's too steep. Um, yeah we had to park our car a little bit uphill because the road here gets quite steep we and it's not paved. It's not paved yet. We haven't gone up yet but we came down so I, but I think we'll be able to do that. Now let's check out the beach. Simona and Jura from the future one minute ahead do not go down okay when it gets Break steep bar. just yeah. just park because <laughs> This reminds me of <laughs> like at the end of the skiing day when the slope gets really rough, so don't do it, just walk down. Or you have a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, that's something else. Yeah. Oh my god. At the end of the trail, this beach or for ourselves. Surprises behind every corner. Oh my god. Jura was helping a local fisherman. I said something about about surprises behind every corner. There's a cave, I have to swim to it. How was it? Yes, excellent. So the next beach we are going to is Tiniva, which is probably the most famous one. Um, it's a path down the beach. It's quite um, adventurous, let's say. Jura is not so impressed by it. Um, yeah, we'll show you the beach when we get down. Do bring good shoes. And be careful, it's quite slippery. You can also go by boat, which I think would be a better idea. I don't think we have to say anything here. It is beautiful, really, really unique. Not that crowded now in pre-season. But the water is a little bit chilly, but we're going to swim in here. It would be a shame not to. Go Simona, go Simona. Time to hike back up. 
it took us exactly 16 minutes to get up. But we went quite fast. We're but good. We, we had a uh, foot to stop. Yeah, we had wear good shoes because uh, sometimes you also need to use your arms after the next one. Let's go in. Where are we paddling to, Simona? Uh, beach Ruda, which is next to Srebrna. Okay. Quick swim stop at Ruda Bay. The weather quickly changed, so we're going to stick close to Srebrna. one of the abandoned military tunnels. The island is full of these. So we are in restaurant Jastojera, where Mamma Mia 2 was filmed. At this exact table, we booked it four days ago, so book ahead. Our tummies are very, very full. Uh, we paid a little bit more than we usually do for dinners, but it was really nice, worth the experience. Also, the food was really tasty, really good. It's good service and the view. Wow. <laughs> and the view and wine. It's just really good. Also, romantic. the house wine, although it was pretty cheap, I had a house wine and it was really good. Yeah. So, we're going to go to bed now and see you again tomorrow for our final day here. Good morning, day number five. As you know, I think we already mentioned this, but this was a military base from the Second World War up until the Croatian independence in 1991. So the island is full of this military bases and this one is... Stupiste. Yeah, this used to be a rocket base. Uh, there's a road here. Be careful, just go slow and you should be fine. But if your car is on the lower side, don't go. <laughs> Bring definitely a flashlight. blurring some of the symbols out because they are of the Nazi nature. Google map will bring you here to the end of the peninsula so but you need to park at the first bunker where we park which we're showing you now. Okay now beaches something more like light-hearted. the roughest yet. We're going to Veloglava. So this apparently was the headquarter of the entire operation. It goes really really far, we're not gonna go all that far. Planning the next move. This is but my final seal of approval. They have spinach burrick. Talking about British legacy, 
small game of cricket and now we are here at British Fortification for St. George. Yeah, it's called Fort George and we are going to have a drink here because they are supposed to have a nice cool chip. Lipanovic. And here they make the Google wine, wine Vugava. It has a very, it's very rich in alcohol and it's supposed to be dry but it tastes like sweet. And in this one we have Plavat Somali. So if you remember from Pelia shots where we were a couple of years ago, they are famous for that. And they said that here it is different. Let's see. And you saw, they have everything in the tunnel. Excellent. Now let's try. Very rich. Spirit and wine to go. <laughs> and Benny. 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 Dinner was excellent. Mm -hmm. We were in Fabrica. They have uh, vegan food. We had actually today vegan. Um, very good. And I think it's one of the top rated restaurants on TripAdvisor. Yeah, so maybe that's why. Yeah. The price was a little bit higher, but it was really good. It was good, yeah. Yeah, in the beginning we said five days, but we decided to get a late ferry tomorrow, so we get a, like a three quarters of a day tomorrow. So we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> We are now in the town that gave the island its name. In we are Vies. in town Vis. Yeah, I hope you can hear us today. It's a little bit windy. A lot. Yeah. Uh, Komija feels a lot, a lot more local. Yes. I would say. Nice. And Vis. Yeah. Probably also because here is the main port. Yeah. And all the big ships, yachts, and everything stop here. Um, maybe that's why. I don't know. But we'll explore a little bit and then we have to catch the ferry. The time has unfortunately come. We have to say goodbye to this. Yeah, we're always sad. And this is, I think, uh, the evidence that we really liked it. We really liked it. Yeah. It gave us like only pleasant memories, and it's all about how a certain place makes you feel. And we will have excellent memories of this place. I we think. will come back for sure. It was not our last time. I hope this video will um, help you somehow. To plan a little bit your visit to this? I would suggest a week, at least. Yeah. We yeah. would need a few days more to do and see everything that we wanted to, but we have to do something for the next time. Exactly. Uh, like and subscribe, click the notification bell and see you next time.